can distribute this blessing and that is why you have privilege to be wealthy and there is nothing that you have that is being given to you by your strength or by your power for the bible says by strength shall no man prevail god has blessed you for you to be a blessing to the world i want to tell you that god's prosperity is free it really don't matter the kind of wealth people are getting now in this world you just need to be obedient to have god's prosperity you can be prosper it doesn't matter what the economy is all about you know the bible said Though we are in this world, but we are not of this world. It doesn't matter the hardship of the economy. It doesn't matter the, the, the poverty uh, uh, stink that is all about rampage about the world right now. I want to tell you that you can be prosperous. You can make it in life. So long you keep and hold on to God's words. Has made provision for us to be prosper. It wishes above all things that we should prosper even as our soul is prosperous. But how do we get God's prosperity? One is true obedience. The Bible said, if if we are willing and be obedient, we shall eat the good of the land. That means our obedience is needed to be prosperous. You can be prosperous if you are obedient to God and to God's kingdom. The world, those are young youths who are going to pause screen, who are going to Yahoo as they call it, who are going to rituals and whatever. They are obedient to devil's commandments and they will give them the, the wealth of this world. The Bible said, though we are in this world, we are not of this world. And the Bible makes us understand that the riches of the Gentiles, that means they are quite, the way they are acquiring now, the Bible says shall be converted unto us. Let me tell you how it will come unto us. The Bible said in Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33, it says, Seek him first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and every other thing shall be added unto it. That means the first thing to do is to be obedient to God's word and to seek God first in all you do. Have the heart of giving. Have the heart of See, you cannot be prosper than your heart of giving. If you have the heart of giving, you will be prosper. God is looking for a man that you will bless. The Bible said in Malachi chapter 3 and in verse 1 to verse 10, the Bible said God commanded us to bring up our tithe. If we are obeying and paying our tithe, trust me, the blessings of the God's kingdom will pour out for us. It's very important. The Bible also makes us understand that the poor will never receive from our means. That means there's poverty and there will be poor people in this earth. You can't be the one who is poor. The only reason why you are poor is because your mind is made up not to serve God. If you are going to serve God really and be obedient to God's word, you will be prosperous. You will make it. Life is full of blessings. The Bible said He has given us the riches of this world. He said in Isaiah chapter 4 to 5 and in verse 1 to verse 3 to Cyrus, He said, I will go before thee and make the devil stay, and I will give you the key to the treasures of darkness. There are riches in this world that God is willing to give to us. It's only true obedience. So I will beg you to be obedient. And what I, I, I did start to obedience? Start by obeying God's commandment. God is key. They are, you have to be a kingdom investor. Invest in God's kingdom. How do you invest in God's kingdom? Talk about Jesus to people. Go out to so many. There are poor people around you who can help. You must not be wealthy like Dan Kutte. You must not be wealthy like a Ted Dollar. You must not be wealthy like Microsoft World. In your little capacity, you can help people. Help them financing, help them in intellectual, help them by advising them. You help them with the little wealth God has given to you. The Bible says God is the one that gives us power to get wealth. We can only get wealth, we cannot make wealth. It's God that makes wealth. But He gives you the power to get it from His kingdom. How did He give you the power if you are willing and obedient? The Bible said the meek will need guide. The meek will need fish his way. So we need to be meekful. We need to be obedient. We need to be highly submissive to God's rules and then we can make it in life. I'm begging you, we are in a tough time right now in our world. We have to be obedient so that we will not be beggars. There are so many people who are in Christ, who are in church, but they are not in Christ. You need to be in Christ to be what? To be out of this crisis of this world. I say it again, you need to be in Christ to be half of the crisis of this world. You don't need to be a church goer, but you need to be in Christ. How do you need to be in Christ? Do what God tells you to do. Do what Christ wants to do. He will help you and he will guide you. Peace. God bless you.